I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For a morning meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 14 verse 35. The king's favor is toward a wise servant, but his wrath is against him that causeth shame. Here this morning, the Spirit of the Lord is teaching us about a quality that should be there in a servant that the king demands. The king does not need a servant who is very smart and handsome and is ready to entertain everyone. The king, who has authority over his subjects, will desire that his servant too is obedient to him. But obedience alone will not make the king happy as there are many servants who are ready to do their best if they are told to do something. Though they will be counted as one among the servants, it's not necessary that they receive a favor from the king. Here the scripture says, King's favor is toward a wise servant. That means, the king wants his servant to be wise as it brings honor to the king. We all know about Joseph, who was sold by his own brothers when he was just an innocent youngster. As he was the favorite of his father and the second youngest in his family, he was not even sent to the wilderness to take care of the flocks. But look at the maturity that the young boy attained in a foreign land. I think it might have been very difficult for him in the beginning as Egyptian culture is entirely different from his family background. When he was sold, he must have been crying as he left his homeland to a foreign land. But that might have helped him to cling on to the Lord of his fathers, the God of his fathers. The Lord's favor was with the young boy who was obedient to the Almighty God and also the authorities whom he served. We know how God raised him above all the men of Egypt as he received the number two position in that empire. The life of Joseph is an example for us and it teaches us many things. In the house of 44, Joseph received favor from his master. As he was wise enough to know the likes and dislikes of his master and deal with everything. That is why his master entrusted all the, all the things of his house to his wise and faithful hands. Now this morning, let us look into our own lives. We all have submitted our lives before the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And the precious moment when we accepted Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior of our life, do we remember that moment? Sometimes we think that it is all that our Lord needs in our Christian life. Just praise Him and do the things which God tells us and then God will be pleased with us and we'll receive God's favor. But have we ever thought why God has given us His precious word that teaches us about His dealings with His people and the lives of the people who had faith in God and walked in His path? We read about, about their lives again and again, but still, do we learn anything Remember, the Lord has given His precious word to us in a language that we can understand so that we may know the Lord more, know more about His nature, His perfect plan and how He works out His perfect plan in His perfect way. The Lord wants us to understand these mysteries and be wise and grow to maturity and walk with responsibility. Remember, we are called with an eternal purpose as a blessed life with the Lord God in eternity is waiting for us, a high calling is resting upon us, dear friends. And so, we need to be wise enough and gain the maturity that God desires from us. A wise servant is the one who knows the likes and dislikes of the master and will work according to it. The king does not have to tell his servant everything always, but he himself will do the things Realizing the nature of the master and will do things that brings glory and honor to the master. But nowadays, look at the lives of the believers. 
Will heaven call them as wise servants as they want their desires to be fulfilled and seek their own glory in the name of the master? Even through a testimony, they want the world to know how strong their faith is rather than seeking the glory of the Lord. Some believers are immature till the very end of their journey. They seek the help of prophets to guide them each moment. God has appointed His servants so that we may learn the word of God and be mature enough to discern what is good and evil. And nowadays, the ministers play the role of babysitters who take care of immature children and keep them happy playing according to their tunes. Do you think that heaven is getting ready to receive some babies who are still stubborn in their nature and never bother about the will of the Almighty Father? Heaven is not looking for, forward for them. But heaven is looking forward for an obedient and wise bride who is mature enough to reign with the Lord forever. The word of God warns us that the wrath of the king is against them that cause shame to him. If then let us take time and look into our lives and see whether our lives receive favor of the Lord or invites divine wrath. If we still walk according to our desires and grieve Holy Spirit God who dwells in us, we are getting ready to receive the wrath of God. Let us not think that we are free from judgment of God as we take the name of Jesus and believe in him. Lord Jesus himself said, if we do not fulfill the will of the Father, then our vain words that address him as Lord, Lord, will never be accepted. Let us pray and submit ourselves to the leading of Holy Spirit God so that we may be wise enough to discern God, good and evil according to the will of God. Let the favor of the Lord rest upon each one of us. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this time that you have given us and thank you for your precious word. Lord, in these days, help us to grow to your maturity. Help us to know thy will. Help us to realize the high calling we have and the great expectation that you have from our life. And help us to walk a life that's pleasing unto your name, that brings glory to your name. We surrender ourselves. Give us the wisdom. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.